welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money selling your clutter. If you're like most people, you probably have a ton of items lying around your home that you no longer use or need. Instead of letting them collect dust, why not turn it into cash? And here's how you can do just that. Drop a yes in the comments if you have stuff in your home that you can sell right now. If you're new to my channel, I am Margo, a professional organizer, helping women like you maintain a clean and tidy home. If stuff like that is something you wanna get into on a weekly basis, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell. If you're looking for a support group of like-minded women, you can pop into my Facebook group. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So let's talk about selling your items. Your clutter is another person's treasure. There are a few things that you need to do before you can begin in selling your items. Let's quickly review them now. Off to the blackboard. Step one, gather your clutter. Start by making a list of items you no longer use or need, such as clothing that don't fit, books you've already read, electronics you no longer use, and anything else that you consider to be clutter. Step two, super important, sort and clean your stuff. Sort your items into categories and decide what to keep, sell, donate, or throw away. If you've already done that, you can skip this step. Clean the items that you wanna sell to make them more appealing for buyers. Step three, determine the value of your clutter. You can do this by looking at similar websites such as eBay or Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. This will give you a good idea of what you can sell your items for. If you're looking to declutter your entire home so you can isolate what items you actually want to sell, you can check out this quick tutorial here. Now on to making the big bucks. I have sold a lot of items over the years and have made a ton of money. There are several options for selling your clutter and there are pros and cons to each one. Here are some of the most popular platforms. Number one, online marketplaces. You can sell on websites such as Amazon, eBay, Facebook Marketplace. They offer a large pool of potential buyers and they handle all the payments, processing, and shipping arrangements. Make sure that for any item that you're selling, pictures are key. So your photos have to feature the best of the item that you're selling. I've actually sold several items on eBay, specifically my daughter's high chair, car seat, and various pieces of furniture. Number two, you can hold a garage sale to sell your items. If you have a lot of items to sell, a garage sale can be a great option. You can sell items in person and get cash right away. Just be sure to advertise your sale ahead of time and price your items competitively. If you're enjoying my video, contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button. Number three and probably my favorite is selling your clothing via apps. I have made over $778 selling items on some of these apps, and here are my favorites and why. All of these apps are available on Android and on iPhone. So the first app is called ThreadUp. So this one is best for sellers that don't have time to create listings, take pictures, and ship their items. So essentially what ThreadUp will do is they will send you a prepaid bag or mailing label, and then you send them your clothing, and they essentially do the rest. Selling is free on ThreadUp, and they keep a portion of the profit. You can sell new and used women's clothing. If your clothing don't sell, ThreadUp will either send them back to you or recycle them depending on which option you choose. The next one, which is also awesome, is Poshmark. So this is best for casual to serious sellers with trendier name brand items that you wish to sell. So to sell on Poshmark, essentially they will send you a prepaid shipping label and then you pack and track your package as it goes off to the purchaser. At the time of filming this video, for sales under $15, Poshmark takes a flat commission of $2.95 and for sales over 15 bucks, Poshmark will take a 20% commission. Next Next up, we have Mercari. So this is best for casual to serious sellers that have everyday clothing to sell. So the app requires that the seller does some of the work. You'll need to take your own photos, write descriptions, and set the price. Once an item sells, they will send you a prepaid shipping label. It is free to list, but there's a flat 10% selling fee charged when a sale is completed. So with this one, be mindful that it requires more legwork and it requires that you really take awesome photos. Awesome photos sell. So here are a few additional apps. The first one is Depop. You can sell just a few items or set up a virtual storefront, complete with a store logo, description, and connected to your social media accounts. The next is The Real Real, and this is a fantastic app if you have luxury designer items in perfect condition to sell. 
fashion experts evaluate, photograph, price, and sell the items for you. And the key here is that it has to be designer and high quality. And finally, you have Tradesy. With this app, you take a photo of the item, you upload it to their app, and once it sells, you can ship it to the buyer. I love this because selling your old clothing online has never been easier. If your closet is an eyesore, I have an entire course taking you from cluttered chaos to neat and organized for just 47 bucks. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Number four, you can sell your clutter via online sell and buy groups. There are many online buy sell groups for specific items or communities such as children's clothing or furniture. Joining these groups can be a great way to reach a targeted audience and sell your items Quickly. Number five, flea markets. Flea markets can be a good option if you have a variety of items to sell, but they usually require an upfront fee to rent a space, and of course, they can be weather dependent. So those are the ways that you can sell your items and make a ton of money off of your clutter. Now, it does require that you invest time, planning, scheduling, taking photos, creating descriptions. So you want to really figure out which platform works best for you, which platform works best for the items that you're trying to sell. If you'd like me to dive deeper into any of these selling platforms, leave a comment and let me know and I can make a future video about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. As always, good luck on your decluttering journey and remember to be good to yourselves. Thank you.